Now I want to go a little bit further. Now that we've passed the basic settings, the alarms and the apnea, I want to move into some of the functionality of the graphics screen. So let's talk about the graphics a little bit more. On my screen here, I've got two graphics. It is the pressure and the flow that I see right here. To adjust the scales, I can touch the scales. I highlight those scales. And I can just use my finger to adjust the scales. So whether it be the horizontal or whether it be the vertical, I can just use my fingers to adjust those scales. So now let's talk about some other things you can do with the graphs in terms of looking backward in time. So imagine something happened on the screen, something pretty odd, and that's pretty odd I'd say. And you were maybe standing at a distance and you saw that occur on the patient and you wanted to capture that graph. Well what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit my pause button on the right hand side. So I'll pause my graph. It's going to throw a crosshairs up. And I'm going to pull this cursor backward in time. And as I pull it in this direction, I can kind of pause until that actual abnormal graph comes up. So here I have a type of asynchrony, a double trigger asynchrony. So from this point, I can take that and I can go down to a camera icon in the lower right hand side and I can actually capture that asynchrony. So I'll touch the camera icon and then I can actually export that picture out a USB port in the back. Now to do that, there's a menu on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go access where that would be so if I pull out the menu on the left hand side, right here there is something called screen capture. And so I'm just going to touch the screen capture. And we can see right here that that picture I captured is listed right there. Now you cannot view it on the screen real time. You have to actually download it to a USB key in the back. So if I stuck a USB in the back, then that would highlight down here and I can copy and send those out the back. All right, I'm just going to close that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and unpause this graph. Now another thing that you can do when you're in this view specifically is some people want to see the alarms on the screen as well. That's how we did it on our previous ventilator. So if I double tap this little icon right here, it pulls up the ability to configure this. So I'm going to pull up alarm right there and show you what that looks like. So right now I've got a graph on the top and I have the alarms displayed at the same time. And I can actually adjust these alarms real time on the screen and they will stay posted here in case that's what you'd like to do. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change that back to the traditional setting. And customers also wanted to be able to see more graphs at one time on the screen. So now we're going to increase that ability to see more than just two graphs on the screen. So for example, if we look at the number of configurations, there is one here, and I'll go ahead and touch it, where you can see multiple waveforms as well as loops on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and pause that one again. And in the same way, I can actually pull my finger back. And it's interesting because as you kind of look at the different waveforms, you get a better perspective of what's happening actually on the loops. And so I can actually see on the loops what is the same uh, point in time. Now I can also use the knob at the bottom if I want to kind of you know, look a little bit finer into these loops. As I adjust these loops, please pay attention that that crosshair is coming down to an actual value. So you can actually pick up the value of the X and the Y axis by looking at the little boxes as you change where the cursor actually is. Now one a nice additional feature is that I can actually enhance the size of that graph if I double tap that graph, I will blow up that one graph. And so that's how you get a better view. So you can do that with all of the graphs and you can work your way around the graph and decide what is most important that I look at. Now I'm going to go ahead and double tap that to go back to our original size. And then once again, I'm going to hit the unpause button. And then you'll begin to see the graphs being drawn the way they normally are real time. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and back. I'm going to go back to my original uh, two graph display. 
That is under this waveform layout icon right there. That's where you'll access things. And I'll go under layout too. You'll probably spend a fair amount of time under that lay, layout, uh, waveform layout icon, so become very familiar with that. That's how you'll switch back and forth. 